TGO, Tom Grunewald Outdoors is brought to you by HT, premium ice tackle since 1974. Polar Fire Gear, this is how it's done. Tourism Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, Canada's best freshwater fishing. Vexilar, ice fishing begins when you turn your Vexilar on. Kalispell, Montana, discovery in every direction. And these other fine sponsors. Hello everyone and welcome to Tom Grunewald Outdoors. I am Tom Grunewald and I am up in Saskatchewan with my good friends Steve Bunka, Andrew Smitty-Smith and Neil Hughes from FishingSaskatchewan.ca. Also along with us today is Tom Zanako from Vexilar. I'll tell you what, all of us are really pumped up. As a team, our goal here is to see if we can catch a trophy walleye, a true trophy walleye. And we're on one of the premier waters in the world to be able to accomplish that. We're on Saskatchewan's Tobin Lake. It's actually an impoundment on the Saskatchewan River. And this fishery is amazing. There have been legitimate 16, 17, even 18 pound walleyes taken out of these waters. And they catch eight to 10 pound fish quite regularly. Now, obviously, we got an awful lot of work to do. This is huge, huge water. We got a lot of places to cover. We gotta try to find the right locations where we're gonna be able to intercept some of these fish. Fortunately, we've had the opportunity to sit down. We've talked to some of the people here that Steve and Smitty and Neil know that are locals. They gave us a little bit of intel to help us try to get on the right spots. We've got some nice little pockets and anomalies, sunken islands, things that are perfect structure to hold forage and attract some of these trophy walleyes. Hey, come along, join our team today as we try to fish trophy walleyes on Saskatchewan's Tobin Lake. There you go, broke yeah. the ice. Broke nice, the ice. nice, fat fish. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. Right. Beautiful. Awesome. Nice job, Neil. Yeah, thank you. There he is. Not a giant, not a giant. He's coming back, he's looking. There we go. Nice. Another big perch. Well, this will happen, you know, we're right at that 3.30 period. A lot of times the perch will come in for half an hour or whatever, and then as we get toward dark, the walleye start going. Yeah. But uh, it's always fun to have a perch that takes drag, Steve. Yeah, that's. A, I mean, those are nice perch. And yeah. that's been the average we've gotten so far, that uh, maybe 12 inch, 13 inch. Yeah, you know, if a person really wanted to target perch, this is a good lake for it. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're, we're fishing uh, bigger baits. I've got a, a laser rock around here with a little piece of gulp, but uh, it's real common to catch these 10, 12 inch jumbos, so. Nice size to eat too. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll take that one back and, uh, and fillet it out, huh? Yeah. So even the perch at this lake, look, look at the back on that. You can see they're feeding really heavy. They got a nice bulge. These fish are really thick along the back too. Yeah. yeah. Just beautiful. All right. Well, I'm going to get my line back in there and see if I can get one of those walleyes. Right on. <laughs> All right. There we go. Nice. That'll nice. That'll be right at, oh, and he hopped off the hook too. That'll be right at about the bottom of the slot size that they have up here for Tobin. Yeah. Uh, all fish, all walleye, uh, 55 to 85 centimeters have to be released. And that one's gonna be right in that 50 centimeter range. Nice. And I was just thumping the bottom and I had just picked it up. I mean, it couldn't have been an inch or two off the bottom. Yeah. And he smoked it. That's uh, that's what I'm finding too, uh, Smitty. I've been just taking the lure and, and bouncing it three, four, five times off the yeah. bottom and just pulling it up. And that's what's been bringing the fish up. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to bring something up. I didn't even see a mark on the screen. It really? Was, I just pounded the hook, and as I lifted it up, bang, it hit right there. So it was probably looking at it and watching me do that. And you got that shatter right spoon away. on there too, yeah. so you're creating all kinds of commotion. You got that rattle and the flash. And Absolutely. Nice. Well, let's get that bag okay. of water for the ice freeze up. Nice job, Smitty. Perfect. 
There he is. Nice. That one followed up about uh, 10, 11 feet at least. Tulabi. This is what those big walleyes in this system can feed on. This is why they get so big and this is a world-class fishery. Just had one come up and look. Nice red mark. Stick him, Tom. Fish on! Nice! Not giant, but it's all right. Walleye. That's what we're looking for. Nice fish. <laughs> all right. You know, they're just starting to get a little more active now, Steve. It's starting yeah. to go. Um, that last one was quite a bit bigger. It was putting a serious bend in the rod. But look how much that fish ate that. I mean, the whole laser rocker is down in his mouth. Well, you want to just get them quick on the stick here. Yeah, see if it's in the slot limit. Or... I think it's going to be under. Yeah. That's a chunky under. It is. 18. It's 18 um, inches and two and a half pounds, three pounds. There, Tom. I would like yeah. to harvest that one. Okay, all right. We can do that. Yeah. To keep one, eat a couple little. since it is, it's, it's in the slot, why not? That's a good eater size fish too, so, Absolutely. okay. Absolutely, that's perfect for the pan. There you go, Tobin Lake walleyes. The arterial leader. It's a nice walleye. Not bad, not bad, Steve. There you go. Good stuff. There we go. Nice work. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> good job. Nice work, Steve. <laughs> oh, you had the fish eye. Nice. The old fish eye. On the chatter spoon? Yeah. That's nice. your favorite, isn't it? That's my uh, that's my confidence lure right there. There you go, man. Beautiful. Well, it's nice to see some of them starting to spank it a little bit. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. That's got a They're coming up. Size, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We've been waiting for that time for you know the bite to happen. Yeah. Happened a little bit later than maybe we thought, but better late than ever. Well, I've had yeah. just in the last 10, 15 minutes, we had a lot of activity on the bottom. They're right, following yeah. up, yeah. you know, so. Maybe yeah. they're starting to get hungry. Let's hope here, you bet. Because they've been all day just sniffing the baits all day. Yeah. That so. one finally smacked it. Yeah. Just red mark, lowered nice. it down. Whap, got it. Well, I guess I'm moving over here beside you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> all right, <laughs> nice job, Steve. Well, we'll job, Steve. More fishing action online at tgofishing.com. Feels like a better fish. Hey, you got drag, got some head shakes. Yeah, I kind of think it's not a walleye. Oh, it's a good walleye. It's another nice walleye. Uh, nice. See if I can get a return. Oh, she's got some uh, really interesting uh, marks on her side there. This water is so clear when you look down and you, you just see these giant walleyes. Big head, big back. Uh -huh. You gotta almost. like it when you're walleye fishing and it takes drag. I absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's exciting. Oop. Yeah, watch that ice chip on yeah. the edge there. Nice job playing that fish, lady. Nice. He's just trying to rub me off on the ice here. Yeah, we got the heads right down there, just nice and easy. See if you can turn her. Wait, how are you doing? It's all right. Close. There we go. Oh. That head's coming. You ready on it? Turned it. Going for it? Okay. okay. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the belly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what we're looking for. Boom. Oh yeah. Look at that. <sighs> I always like to show that the side a of a fish. fish. But show the belly on that fish. Oh. Just look at the girth and the shoes. thickness on that walleye. Oh yeah. She's starting to get frozen. Like, 20. oh, like 26. Definitely uh, a slot fish. And we're going to get her back. And that's great, and that's why they've got this slot here at Tobin Lake, is to protect this fish is clearly a prime breeder, uh, and we want to keep these in the lake, and we want to have populations like this for years to come. And it's working because it in really the past, is. Tobin didn't have those regulations. Not. Potential was there to, to catch these fish and it kind of wasn't realized there for a few years. And since they've enacted those rules, this fishery has come back stronger oh, than ever. Very strong fishery. One of the strongest in the province. Perfect, Smitty, well done, my friend. Thanks very much, Tom. That's what you call a Tobin walleye right there. Awesome. Let's learn something. Time for a TGO tackle tip. 
You know, we're marking a lot of fish out here. There's fish coming up off the bottom, there's fish coming in from the sides and up to my lure, but they'd be what I would call neutrally active fish. They're really not coming in hard, chasing the baits. At the same time, they're not just sitting uh, down on the bottom and not reacting at all. Now there's three different approaches you can use. You know, and people ask me this all the time. They'll say, hey Tom, we're marking fish. We just can't get them to bite. What should I do? Well, me, I'm trying to kind of taking an intermediate approach. I've got a Jigger Whopper laser rocker spoon on here. Now that's got a lot of color and flash and it creates a little vibration, motion that draws fish in from a distance. But then it's got this treble hook hanging on that split ring that I've got with a tip there with just a little piece. It's a Berkeley gulp minnow that I've cut off so it'd make it a little bit shorter. Now the advantage to this is I can use the flash and the vibration of that spoon to draw these fish in. Once they come in, they come up, they start looking at it. I've got that treble hook just kind of dancing there on the end of the spoon with that little double twin tail Berkeley gulp minnow and I can kind of finesse the fish to try to trigger them into hitting. There's other philosophies on this and how to get these fish going. We've got Tom Zaninko out here. Now Tom's been using a large chubby darter, a Selmo chubby darter. He's also got some little Selmo zippers, which were rattle baits. And he's trying to work these fish aggressively and using larger baits to try to get reaction bites and hopefully from bigger fish. Now the other side of that spectrum is what Steve Bunk has done. Steve has went with a lighter rod, lighter line, smaller, more delicate presentation, almost using like a dead stick. He's barely moving the bait. So he's working that and he's just hoping that when those fish come in and they see that, it's gonna be a little something lighter, easier for them to suck in, get that bite, get that fish triggered. So there's different approaches. Now you need to be open-minded, you need to be versatile. When you get in these situations, you're around fish. You do need to have fish, okay? So that you can experiment, try these different things and see what's working. But if you are marking fish and they're not going, again, be versatile, be open-minded, Maybe try one of those three approaches and see if one of those will work for you. Usually, if you do and you keep pounding it, really, really concentrate, really focus on what you're doing, you're gonna ice more fish. Yeah, there's one off the bottom, so I'm kinda just getting myself ready if this big, big fish comes in and takes something. I wanna be set. Like that. Fish on, Smitty. I'm right behind you, Tom. Got a good one. Yeah, not a not a giant walleye by Tobin standards. You ready, Schmitty? <laughs> he wasn't going they're supposed to when you hold them by the belly. They're supposed, supposed to, to sit right out. out. Yeah, this one is not a typical walleye, but yeah, just a beautiful fish and a lot more aggressive here this morning. Uh, Steve had one hit right away, yeah. uh, right off the bat in the morning. Got that laser rocker and, again there. Yep, laser rocker with that uh, little piece of gulp on the end, yeah. and uh, came up and hit it hard. Beautiful. That's fun. Forward. Well, that one I think is probably in the slot. That one's gonna go back, huh? You're gonna be pretty close, yeah. Think? That'll be right in that 21 inch range. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. There we go. Thanks for the help, Smitty. Let's go. get some more. Good stuff. All right. So we've been out here fishing these Tobin walleye, and some days you're gonna get walleye that are super aggressive, and some days you're gonna get walleye that are a little bit more tentative. And, and how we know that they're here but tentative as we're marking them on our Vexilar, you can see the marks coming up. They'll come up to your lure. We've been trying different techniques, shaking, dropping. We've been trying everything, chubby darters, laser rockers. Uh, my personal favorite, a chatter spoon, but uh, limited success with that. So what I'm trying now is something really subtle. It's three split shot weights, about six or eight inches above my uh, hook with a single circle hook in a minnow. So, like right now, I could see these fish here, and, and they're coming up, and what I'm hoping is that this slow, steady, steady uh, approach will actually trigger them and get them to take that bait. There's more fishing action to come, right here on TGO. There's another smaller fish off the bottom. Might be the same one too. You never know. You, when you uh, you mark a fish like that, um, I think a lot of times these fish, especially on a steep break like this, they'll come along in small pods of two, three, four fish. And uh, if you uh, have one come in and look, and it's not aggressive, it moves out of the way, another one might come back like that. <laughs> oh, that one came in hard. <laughs> I, like I say, these fish will come through in, in pods of three or four like that, 
And uh, so you might not have one that's a feeder, one might not be aggressive. Next one comes through just like that one just did and, and pops it. What I really like to see on the screen is uh, two or three fish at the same time, because then they tend to be a little bit competitive and then you can kind of work it. Just kind of bring that bait up, get them chasing. And uh, if you turn one on, one starts going, um, good chance at least one of those two fish will come up and hit. These fish are, are they're hitting it so hard and, and grabbing on and hanging on that uh, it's hard to get a hook set on them even. But a nice change of pace. <laughs> nice. Heart racing a little bit, Steve? Oh, I'm like vibrating. <laughs> Nothing like it. Later again. Oh, that one's not ready. That's all right, let him. I'm back at the tent now. Tie her out, let her tie her out. Notice how Steve's not only using the drag on that rod, but he's, he's using the length of that rod, lowering it down. Just trying to minimize the abrasion on the ice if I can. Yep. There he is. That's a nice fish, Steve. Oh, that's a real nice walleye. Yeah. Turn around again. Not quite there. Both. Oh, yeah, that's a nice walleye. Yeah. Okay, she's okay. coming up. Yeah, yep. easy. There you go. That is going to be pushing 30 inches. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. Look at the size of this fish. Look at the head on that. In the mouth. That is a Tobin walleye right there. Oh, man. Yeah. That's a monster. I'm shaking. You should be shaking. Let's do it the other way. Let's go. Oh, maybe not. That's my biggest through the ice, definitely. <laughs> oh my goodness. 32 and change. I am shaking. I should be shaking. Beauty. Oh. Drop her in. Congratulations, Steve. Yeah. That's it's, the fish of a lifetime right there. For sure. That's what we came to Tobin for. We've all been working really hard to make it happen. Couldn't be a happier moment. We'll be right back as we try to catch some more walleyes here on TGO. More fishing action online at TGOfishing.com. Take your time. You got right to the leader. Keep your rod in the center of the hole. Yep. Nice and nice. Easy. Just relax. You got it. You got it. Just kind of lift, and, and when you see the head is under the hole. Yeah, you just get the head turned. That's a nice eye. Easy. We're just about there, buddy. Just don't force it. Let her go a little. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, there you go! Oh my god! Yes! Oh. And, uh, look what's coming out of the mouth. The guy with the five of dime is tattooed on his leg. There you go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Quick measurement, you bet. 31 and a quarter. Broke the 31 mark. I heard you yelling like five minutes ago already. It's a big oh, mark, it's a giant yeah. mark. You just kept working them and kept working them. Nice job. Tom's all over it. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible, you guys. Fantastic. Let's win. See what you got. Sorry, Tom. No, you're fine. Good. Nine, 12. 11. Nine. 11, nine. 11, nine. nine. 11, Shorter, nine. Quarter, but bigger. Yep. Terry just got one. 31 inches, just shy of 12 pounds. 11 pounds, nine ounces. Tobin Lake, Saskatchewan. If you want to try for a trophy and a personal best, <laughs> oh, like yeah. Terry, oh, yeah. this might be the place you want to try. Right here, fantastic. Wow. wow, did that trip turn out to be everything that we expected it to be. We figured we could come out here, working as a team, could get on some really nice Tobin Lake walleyes. And we're holding out both 
for really catching some trophies. The girth on these fish, they're so well conditioned from feeding so well, they're so fat. Boy, even when you catch a 24 or 25 inch walleye, you know you've really hooked into something. That's Tobin Lake walleye fishing, classic. Tell you what, what an outstanding trip. I wanna thank Steve Bunka, Andrew Smitty Smith, Neil Hughes, our friends over at Tourism Saskatchewan, Chuck over at Prudence Point Resort, all the people who came and made this trip possible so we could bring it to you. And mostly I wanna thank you as an audience for watching TGO. Remember, no matter where we go or what we're fishing for, here on TGO, it's all ice fishing, all the time. TGO has been brought to you by HT, premium ice tackle since 1974. Polar Fire Gear, this is how it's done. Tourism Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, Canada's best freshwater fishing. Vexilar, ice fishing begins when you turn your Vexilar on. Kalispell, Montana, discovery in every direction. And these other fine sponsors. TGO, where it's all ice fishing all the time.